Um, I just told our, our, our three kids, you know, to be praying for mom, mommy and we're going to find her. Uh, it just might take a few days. Adam Carter has been in the Mid-South since Tuesday looking for his 36-year-old wife, Mary Lane. He lost contact with her when she disappeared Sunday night. Her phone went dead somewhere in the area of the I-55 bridge coming into Memphis. Her parents have spent days searching that area. New video is emerging at the beginning of Mary Lane's trip. Carter says that she texted him when she was checking into a Quality Inn in West Plains, Missouri, several hours from her home. She stayed about three hours and left. Carter says he talked with his wife Sunday night and her phone went dead. About 15 minutes later, she talked with her mother and her phone went dead again and no more calls have been made since. Her credit cards have also not been used. Carter, with the help of law enforcement, got a tip his wife was in DeSoto County Monday morning at a Shell gas station. We showed them pictures of her and they said they felt like they, they definitely had seen her. She left the couple's home in Kansas Saturday night, heading to Birmingham, where her parents live. She was seeking some mental uh, health um, care, and uh, she wanted. She didn't want to go to any place in Kansas City, uh, but she wanted to go to a place uh, that she was familiar with. Carter, a pastor in Kansas, says she was a chaplain at the place she was heading to in Birmingham. Adam Carter wonders if his wife checked herself into a mental health facility in Mississippi. He even drove to Jackson, but he says mental health facilities do not release information on patients unless you have the ID number. I understand why they do that to protect patients, but this is a, a life and death situation. Carter has no idea what happened to his wife. She's a loving mother, loving wife. Uh, we have a great relationship. Um, I miss her terribly. Um, I want her home.